We're bringing back a popular segment where we introduce you to animals that need a forever home. Here's our next Pet of the Week. Pet of the Week is brought to you by Positive Directions Canine Academy. Pow! Pet of the Week. That's what I'm calling it. It's kind of cute. This is like our third episode. Introduce yourself to our viewers. My name is Jenna Kretschmann and I'm the Communications Coordinator at Royce-Hurst Humane Society. Jenna, thank you so much. So who is this? This is Andy. Um, he is about three years old and we're not quite sure what breed he is. But he came to us about a month ago from a cruelty abandonment situation in Delta, along with about 12 other dogs. So Andy, he seems excited only in the sense that he's chewing on his dog bubble gum. It's a tennis ball. I don't know if you can see that. But Andy himself, I mean, he, he's compact. He's small. He's not too wound up. What can you tell, what, what can you tell as far as what home is he looking for? Um, he would probably need somebody a little bit more patient just because he isn't really... A regular dog. He doesn't have the experiences that a normal dog would, just coming from the situation that he came from. So he needs somebody a little bit more patient who can who can teach him. Now, something. how do you feel about little kids? Does that fall into the realm of patience, or is that something? Um, I think he would probably do okay with older kids. Okay, so introductions are always necessary mm -hmm. at the Royce Hurst Humane Society. Now, we always talk about training with this fella. When, you're, when, you, when we don't know his background and it's questionable, what kind of training would be best advised? We think that Andy would benefit from crate training, um, just so that he has somewhere comfortable where he can be at home, it's his own space, and um, he's a little bit less nervous when he's in his crate. So that kind of establishes his safety zone. Right. I think that's important, but you seem really comfortable here, buddy. Welcome to the studio, Andy. So Andy, he has red hair, and he seems really comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we're going to find you a home, Andy. That's our job. Thanks for coming in here. So how can our viewers, if, they, if they're interested in becoming uh, or including a new member in their family, dogs, cats, anyone from, and you're a no-kill shelter. Uh, we're a socially conscious shelter. Okay. So what, what do families need to know about a socially conscious shelter? What does that mean? A socially conscious shelter means that we don't euthanize for lack of space or resources or anything like that. Um, but we do adopt out every medically and behaviorally healthy animal into our community. That's you, Andy. Yes. That's you. How can our viewers get a hold of you? Because these dogs, really, and cats, they end up finding homes quickly. Uh, yes. Um, you can see all of our available pets at rhhumanesociety.org or just stop by the shelter from 12 to 4, um, Tuesday through Sunday. And of course, we have our website, westernslopenow.com. You can get this story there. You can see this story air every Thursday night, right where we are now. So look forward to this next week. You may or may not be here, but animals will be yes. here. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna find you a home. Thanks for having us.